their friends. This is the case of an average speed where one third of the total distance with velocity v1, two third of the total distance with velocity v2 find an average speed. For that blindly I will do one small shortcut here. Here just you write v1 v2 by v1 plus v2. Okay. And you know one third and two third is there no. So third three you have to take in the numerator. So one third and two third crisscross. Okay. Crisscross you do. First you take two and then you take one. That's it. So your answer is ready. V average is nothing but 3 V1 V2 by 2 V1 plus 2 V1 plus 1 V2. Next case also the same type which I have already explained. So this also 2 fifth and 3 fifth. So V average shortcut method is nothing but first you write V1 V2 by V1 plus V2. That's it. So 1 fifth and 2 fifth denominator fifth you have taken the numerator. So 2 and 3 is there crisscross you do. Okay. First you take 3 here and then you take 2 here. Your answer is ready. So therefore, the option is going to be your answer. Thank you. Dear students, let us solve this problem in a reverse order. Actually, in this problem, it is said that a body is projected upwards, okay? At half of the maximum height, that means at h by 2, velocity is given as 10 meters per second. Then what is the maximum height is asking. So at half of the height, velocity is given means what is the maximum height? Actually, it is thrown upwards. But the problem will become very complex when you take upward direction. That's why I will take downward direction problem. Same problem in the downward direction. So in the downward direction, initial velocity will be zero. And at this point, either it is going up or down, velocity will remain same. Okay. So now it will become very easy. Upwards, half of the height I will take now. So simple it is. So you write v square minus u square is equal to 2gh. Now initial velocity will become 0 when you take from top to bottom. So it will become how much here? 10 square is equal to 2 into 10 into height is nothing but h by 2. Okay. So 2 2 gets cancelled and 10 square gets cancelled. h will become 10 meters. That's it. So simple. Dear friends, one ball is dropped from certain height. One ball is projected upwards from the ground with a speed of 25 meters per second. And the total height from top to bottom is taken as 100 meters. He is asking us to find out when and where the balls will meet from the top. So for that, first of all, you have to find out when they are going to meet. You have to find out the time first. For that, the simple and shortcut formula I am going to teach you. What is that? Velocity is nothing but displacement by time here. Okay, so time is nothing but displacement by velocity. So displacement is nothing but 100 by velocity is 25. So they are going to meet at 4 seconds. This is a shortcut method to solve the problem. So once they are meeting at 4 seconds, you have to find out the top height. Let us take this is h1 and this is h2. h1 is nothing but half gt square because u is going to be 0 then for half into 9.8 into 4 square he is going to give you approximately 78.4 meters so this is going to be your answer thank you my dear friends here this is the water drops coming downwards from the tap here so when the first drop is touching the ground third drop is leaving from the tap then what is the distance of the second drop from the ground? That is the question here. So from this formula, h is equal to u plus half g into 2n minus 1. Initial velocity is going to be 0. From this, these two are constants. h is directly proportional to 2n minus 1. So n equal to 1, n equal to 2. If you substitute h1, you get ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 like that. Okay. That means this is 1 means this is 3. The distances are in ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5 and so on. Okay. So 1 and 3. So let us take this as 1x and this is 3x here. So total distance is taken as 4x and the total distance given as height h is which is nothing but 5 meters. x equal to 5 by 4 is the value here. So distance of the first drop, so the second drop from the ground is taken as 3x. Okay. So therefore, this is equal to 3 into 5 by 4, which is nothing but 15 by 4, which is going to be 3.75 meters is your answer. So simple and shorter method. Dear students, okay, water drops falling down from a tap. First drop touches the ground when the fifth drop is released from the tap. What is the height of the third drop from the ground? For this, I told you already that the ratio of distances from between the first between the drops from top to bottom is 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7, like this, isn't it? Okay, so you can take 1x, 3x, 5x, 7x, and so on. So if you add how much you are getting 12, 16x is equal to 5 meters. 
So therefore, x is equal to 5 by 16 meters, and the height from bottom to the third drop is taken as 5x plus 7x, which is going to be 12x, isn't it? So therefore, this distance is 12x. Therefore, 12x is nothing but 12 into 5 by 16. Okay. So 4 3s are 12, 4 are 16. Therefore, 3 5s are 15 divided by 4. Okay. So 15 divided by 4 is nothing but 3.75 is your answer. That's it. Thank you.